Okay, good morning and welcome to Mishnah Yomi. We're learning, starting in Periches, in Pesachas Kilayim. We're going to learn Mishnah Ayos, Aleph, and Bez. Mishnah Aleph says, Kalei HaKerem, Asurim, Lezro, Malakayim. Kalei HaKerem is referring to a mixture in a vineyard involving grapes. Like the Gemara says in Brocho, Shrabi Yoshia says, We pass like him. It has to be three things. It has to be hearts on a grape seed. And two mean is rolling chita v'saura, for example, of wheat and barley together. You plant them on polis yad, either in the same vicinity, the same little hole, or literally you plant them together. You throw them down together. You can't plant them, and you also, if they were planted by somebody else or they happen to be mela by itself, you can't let it grow together. Makayim asurin v'hana. If they are planted, they're asur and hana. It says paint tikdash hamleya by by a klayim. It says paint tikdash. Two cut ish the gemara darshan they have the burning fire. It's also about no klay zroim asurim lezroim lekayim mutarin ba'achilo kolshik about no. If zroim we're not involved in a vineyard we're talking about a wheat and barley grew together you're not allowed to plant them because it says even without a karam it says in the karbashar parshas kedoshim sadcha sadcha kilayim low or something like that sadcha latisra kilayim. You can't even a sada, which is not a karam. You can't mix two species and two different types of yarek and zara, two different types of seeds, um, and you can't be mekayim. Then yes. so we explain the iser of mekayim is, is from that pasuk in kedoshim. Mutar machila b'cholshem anab. It doesn't say tu kadesh. Doesn't say only by by a karam. It says tu dash. So they're mutter to eat and certainly to benefit from kliyak begodim. We're going to talk about kliyim also by begodim. If you mix. Semer or Pishton has the two classical cases, wool and linen, and you make and you sew them together and you make a baguette. Uh, they're mutter, you can get hana. The only thing you can't do with them is little boys, you can't wear them. The Mfarshay also, you can't be mala, you can't use it as a blanket to cover yourself, but any other form of hana you could get from. Klai Behemon, Mutarn, Lagadel, Lakayim, mixtures of animals, let's say a cow and a sheep, let's say. Uh, you can raise them together in the same pen. Uh, you can keep them there. If they're there, the only thing you can't do is you can't actually cause them to mate together. And the Gemara explicitly says it has to be that you kimchol bishofaris. You take the male organ, you put it in the female organ. Uh, then it would be aser. Only that is aser. Kalei behema surum zebazek. Kalei behema is a reference. The parshim say it's talking about um, let's say two types of mules, right? You have a mule. That is the problem. It was a product of a donkey and a horse. So if a donkey and a horse mated and right, they produce a mule, parrot, so and the donkey was the father and the star, and the horse is the mother. So you produce a mule. And then you have another kid, another pair, another animal that was produced not by a male donkey and a female horse, but by a male horse and a female donkey, it'd also be a mule. But those two children, even though they're both mules, they're oster because uh, we don't worry in Choshen the Zara Av. This whole we don't hold the Zara Av. We don't significant. We don't mark significance to who the father is. At the end of the day, they're both mixtures, uh, and therefore they can't mate with each other. Like we said, you can't mate with each other. Only means you can't take one mule, the male organ, and put in the other mule, the female organ. Mishnah Beis Behema im Behema v'Chaya im Chaya Behema im Chaya v'Chaya Behema. We're talking about something else you're not allowed to lead two animals together and you're not allowed to let them plow a field together it says in, in saber devarim so whether it's an animal an animal domesticated animal with a domesticated animal chaya chaya or an undomesticated animal a wild animal with a wild animal behema chaya or an animal domesticated animal with an undomesticated animal chaya behema or if the chaya takes the lead and you you plow together with a chaya let's say a wolf and a, a cow tamea and tamea a non-kosher animal, a non-kosher animal, a pig and a pig, tohorah and tohorah, or a kosher animal, a kosher animal. I'm sorry, tmei, a pig would be, a pig would be with like a fox, let's say. Tohorah and tmei, or a kosher animal with a non-kosher animal, tmei and tohorah, tohorah and tmei. Again, <coughs> these things are talking about the same thing, whether the first one is a tmei, or the second one is tohorah and tmei, asurin, lachro, shalim, shokhalahanig, you can't plow with them together. You can't lead them together, right? To be in front of them and lead the two animals together, or lahanig, or be from the back and push the prod the two animals to go at the same time. This is us in the Torah, no matter who the ten, if they're two different animals, even though it says shor v'chamor, shor, the example in the Torah is talking about an, an ox and a, a donkey, or first of all animals, it doesn't matter whether you prod them from the back or you lead them from the front, or 
you plow with them, uh, it wouldn't be austere in all the cases. Stay tuned for your Mishnah. We'll talk more about the first Mishnah.